Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I just came off of Arduino Week 2022. I even had my own submission for the Arduino Cloud Games Contest. I want to turn my attention to something new though. This time I'll be working with M5 Stack and Cubitro. I like Cubitro's motto, IoT projects are complex. We make them simple. Let's see what we can make of this. My idea is to somewhat recreate my Arduino Cloud Games project using M5 Stack and Cubitro this time. And I'll be transmitting the data from the rocket using LoRa via this LoRa 868 module on the M5 Stack Core IoT unit. Make sure to check out my videos where I worked with the LoRa 868 module before. And I also go into complete detail working with the M5 Stack Core IoT unit in UIFlow. So I won't be going into too much detail about these in this video. I want to focus more on working with Cubitro in this video. I have registered my account in the Cubitro portal and now I'm presented with the opportunity to create my first project. I'm using the starter plan, which is free. You are limited to one project with up to two devices and one dashboard. This should be fine for most first time use cases, so I invite you to check it out. Let's go ahead and create our project. There we go, Rocket tel Telemetry 2, Create Project. We're going to use MQTT as our protocol. We need to create a device. So this is going to be my core IoT unit. Okay, that's going to be from M5 Stack. And that's core IoT unit. And we're going to be at TIMPA, Tucson International Model Park. That's where we fly the rockets. So once we create this, now we get our MQTT credentials. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my username. Just click on it to copy it. Let me go back into uh, UIFlow here. It's also used as the client ID. So I'm going to paste it in client ID and username. Oh yeah, I forgot that it's actually the topic here in the MQTT packet is the client ID from above. So you want to make sure that when you get your user and client ID, you plug that down here in your topic as well. All right, next we need to go back and get our password. Okay, I'm going to paste that in here. There we go. Let's look at the rest of this. So we've set up our MQTT parameters to connect to Cubitro. And you can see here, we're just going to get the longitude and latitude from the GPS unit and the environment unit that are attached to the core IoT unit. We've got a user interface build up that's going to show those values on the screen as well. I'm going to go ahead and hide the UI here. Let's talk about this. Oh yeah, yeah. This uh, altitude is calculated from the pressure and temperature here. That's quite a quite a chore getting that into uh, UI flow, this formula here. So I got that all in UI flow in this formula. Here's what it looks like in Python over here. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. That's Python for calculating the altitude from temperature and pressure. Now let's look at Cubitro specifically. They use JSON format. So you have this packet that has key value pairs. And we build that up using this. This is the publish topic function of MQTT. Let's find that. Advanced MQTT. There's our publish topic. Okay. That's this here. But this dump thing, this is the JSON functionality. Dump the contents to JSON. And then we've nested the map functionality in that. So you use this create map. And then you hit the plus sign for each key value pair. It creates a new one and then you populate it. You can see I'm sending latitude, longitude, temperature, pressure, humidity, and then that calculated altitude. 
and that's all going to be sent to the Cubitro MQTT broker and we'll be able to monitor the output. So we're ready to go ahead and send this to our core IoT unit. So here we go. Okay, here's our core IoT unit with the Environment 2 and GPS units attached. And when we switch it on, it's running that firmware that we installed with M5 Burner. This basically connects you to the web version of UIFlow. You can see that little green cloud means that we're connected and we can use this API key in UIFlow to connect to our device. Let's connect to our core IoT device here. Select the core unit. We've got the correct API key in there. That's good. So let's go ahead and connect. There, we're connected. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Run. That will send this program to our core IoT unit. And there we go. Here, the program is loading, and you can start to see the data coming in. Now that we've got a GPS fix, we can go back into the Cubitro IoT platform and do some data analysis, and we can build out a dashboard in the monitoring section. Let's go. Okay, so we've sent that program over to the core IoT unit. I'm going to refresh here, and we can see that uh, our unit's checking in. So I'm going to go ahead and click into here. We can see the data that we've collected. And they say, look, check out this analytics thing because we can create a chart here. Okay, so let's check this out. You want to make sure all of the attributes are selected in your chart. Let's give this chart a name. Okay. Let's get our colors going here. Pressure, we'll get red. Temperature. I'm going to go green. Humidity. Let's go dark blue. All right. Altitude, I'm going to go light blue. Okay. Let's see. All oh, these, uh, I'm not going to plot longitude and latitude, so let's create our chart now. And there's our chart. You can see the pressure and the altitude are at the top because they're a very high number, whereas humidity and temperature are very low numbers in the 20s there. So that's one way of analyzing the data that's on your device. And the altitudes change significantly <laughs> through the course of the day. So calculating it by pressure and temperature is sketchy at best. You know, you're talking about 40 meters difference in terms of altitude from this morning. So this is one way of looking at the data in Cubitro. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to monitoring here. And this is where we can actually create our dashboard now. So let's see. I'm going to create a new dashboard. Okay, rocket telemetry. Okay, and we can add widgets. Let's see, widget info. I'm going to call this pressure. Yeah. And it's from that project. And core ILT unit. The widget type, we're going to go. Let's just go with the line chart. Continue. Okay, so we have sensor values here. I'm going to go with pressure. And we're going to color that red. Okay. Okay, so there's our air pressure widget. Let's get the rest of our widgets in here now. Okay, so I've finished up putting all the widgets on here. We've got our pressure, our temperature, our humidity. We've got our calculated altitude. And of course, we've got our latitude and longitude here as well. So I think that's a really powerful demonstration of getting started in Cubitro IoT platform with M5 Stack Core IoT unit using MQTT. Okay then. 
Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my M5 Stack playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.